I would encourage anyone to volunteer for hospice care, Center for Hospice Care, because there is no other way I can think of in life that you can give, give more than that. I enjoy going into um, the people's houses and looking at their smiles when you come in. Volunteering is a giving of oneself to someone else. It helps not only fulfill them, but it fulfills you. It's a part of you that you need to do in life to help others. I would encourage people to volunteer if they've experienced that kind of help themselves, that they realize sometime that they might have needed help and someone stepped up and helped their family. It's a gift to go into a home and uh, make the comfortable, make the family feel comfortable enough that they can leave their loved one with you and go to the grocery and do errands. I am a veteran and uh, I think veterans need all the help they can get. If it brings a little joy to them and their families, you know, that's, that's very important to me. It's real rewarding. Um, I found that I get more back than what I can give and that I um, have enjoyed the families that I've met. I have a patient who is uh, very alert at 101 and um, it's interesting to talk to her. Being from a smaller community, we have people in common, so conversations with her have been very interesting. I've learned a lot from her. I had thought of volunteering for hospice for quite a while, so when I retired, um, I thought of doing this as something that I could do as really a way to help other people, because I enjoy uh, ministering and helping people. I think volunteering helps you um, forget about yourself and you give to other people and that's one of the most satisfying things you can do in life is giving to others and helping other people. It's very fulfilling to do that. It's a perfect way to use the gifts we all have already if we're looking to make connections with our community and that's the way I promote it. I always have felt like service is an important factor in our lives that we should try to do for others. So when this retirement came and, and I had an opportunity to volunteer for hospice, it was just a natural for me. It's a wonderful way to get involved in other people's lives in a way that really matters to them, to provide all kinds of care that they wouldn't have otherwise because the professionals can't do it all and I think it's a wonderful way to, to, to show that you really care for people. I don't think a lot of people realize the different aspects of the program and the different programs that are available to them. You know, if you're not interested in the veterans piece of it, you know, there's the 11th hour, there's the pet program, there's you name it, the actual physical working in the house, uh, respite program, I and mean, there's the variety of it. I think when people think of hospice, all they think is, is one piece of it, and they don't realize where their opportunities there are out there. So I just try to encourage them, if you're interested, uh, call someone and, and talk to them about it. Just going out and seeing the veterans and being able to talk to, to, to uh, the veterans that we do see that are, are capable of carrying on a conversation. I was just telling Amy a story about the second, about the second or third visit that I ever made. The gentleman was 93 years old. And when I got there, he was in his chair with his sport coat on, his tie, and his Legion hat. And we started talking about the, his service, and I spent almost an hour there just shooting the bull with him. I think what I have to say when I think about favorite anything with hospice is that they have so many different programs. I'm a veteran, so I get to do the veteran pitting, which is a tremendous thing to do. Much more good for me than those people and uh, 11th Hour, which is another great program to be with the dying at their last few moments. And I do the um, calling on Thursday, we have a tuck-in program where you make calls to patients to see if they're in good shape before the weekend, if they need anything, and they seem to respond to that so well. If it's even one minute call, they really enjoy your calling and just speaking to them, so. Mm -hmm.